trobades entre espècies. El feminisme darrere els cyborgs és el títol del seminari que dona Haraway, doctora en biologia i professora de teoria del feminisme i tecnociència, ha dirigit al MACBA entre el 22 i el 24 de maig. Seguint la línia de treball encetada ja per la marató post-porno i el taller de tecnologies del gènere, el seminari se centra en l'anàlisi dels discursos crítics vinculats a la construcció de les nocions de gènere, sexualitat i raça a la societat contemporània. Sonia parla amb Dona Haraway. El Sonia parla amb Dona Haraway. Ciència, tecnologia, gènere. In the, in the history of thinking about gender, from feminist points of view, there has been a tendency to think, at least symbolically, that technology is associated with masculinity uh, and um, the body is associated with femininity, that the body is women's domain and technology is the domain of the mind, the domain of uh, power, the domain of uh, those who exercise power in corporate, military, uh, so forth. Um, and from a very early in my life, I found that to be both partly true and not true in very important ways and not true in ways that were very important to feminism. So that technologies, bodies, ways of knowing, ways of doing lives are always way more complicated than our ideological divisions into binary opposites. Informática de la dominació. From the beginning, the argument is that informatics and the technologies of informatics are not other are not the outside, that they are us. And um, they are us in, at the level of the tissue of our bodies. They're not all we are, and they're not the same everywhere on the earth, but all of the earth is deeply shaped by these ways of organizing life, in finance, in war, in business, in entertainment, in fantasy, in pleasure, in... Uh, kinds of expertise in kinds of play. Uh, that informatics is way too big to think that you can deal with it um, as um, the enemy, you know, as something that they do on the electronic battlefield or in the finance centers of corporate power. And that um, if we're serious about a lifelong politics committed to justice, if we're serious about justice work, the worlds that are less deadly than those we've inherited. If we are in some sense part of the social movements that inherit freedom struggles, and there are many ways to inherit freedom struggles, and feminism in all its complexities is one very important way, uh, kind of anti-racist, anti-colonial feminist work, then we have to recognize um, that we need more literacy, not less. <laughs> we need uh, to be smarter, not dumber. We need uh, to be savvy, not stupid. <laughs> we need to be able to make alliances where we didn't expect to be able to make them. We need to be able to be inside everything, as well as sometimes outside and in resistance. We need to be able to work for a lifetime in complex ways where not everybody can do everything, but we learn how to make an articulated um, political world that is less deadly than one we inherit. <laughs> Uma, animal. About the very material, fleshly, semiotic, meaningful bodies, that it's not meanings on the one side and bodies on the other, identity over here, bodies over there, that these things are co uh, shaping, that it's about the flesh that the flesh is always also semiotic. So both Beatrice and I are very suspicious of the idea of social construction of the body, right? as if the body were some kind of clay tablet on which you write social identities. However, we're very suspicious of the division of nature and culture. Right? I'm very interested in the practices, the, what I call material semiotic practices in their very um, specific historical configurations through which lives get made possible or impossible. 
through it, some kinds of safety happens for some people and some kinds of danger for other people. Like who gets raped or who gets killed or who's in a refugee camp or who get, you know, or who is safe looking sort of like a butch, sort of like a fan, sort of boy, sort of girl, who's safe enough to dare to look like that in the old city of Barcelona, and might that be different if you are the second generation child of a Moroccan? Beatrice, you know, and I'm both really interested in these questions of which kinds of bodies um, have which kinds of freedoms and unfreedoms. And it's at a chemical level as well as at the level of everything else. These aren't separated levels. Levels the wrong metaphor. Uh, it's, a, it's all these kinds of materialities and scales and temporalities through which lives happen. You know. And I'm particularly interested. This intersects with Beatrice, um, but we have you know, different intensities. I'm particularly interested in these matters as they have to do with animals, by which I mean us and uh, those who aren't us, who get called animals and we get called humans, but all of us are in this together in some way. But we are the same, and there are many kinds of us and many kinds of animals, many kinds of us and human beings, and we are interrelated with each other in very different ways 